But broadly speaking, we're, we're building um, the clear incentive model for the entire SSI ecosystem. But what, what does that mean practically? Um, so what we're building are effectively the payment rails and the commercial models, as well as the base identity capabilities that allow SSI to happen and what we believe make it truly successful. And a lot of the previous networks that have been out, out there, the likes of the sovereigns and even some of the kind of ones that we're starting to see elsewhere, have very much just focused on the decentralized ID capabilities. And there, there really hasn't been a route to um, either monetize or create payments or commercial models around that data in the C in kind of the traditional identity models that Anchor's just spoken about. So your kind of IDMV processes, your KYC process, all have kind of commercial uh, commercials attached to it. And what we're really looking to do is fill that gap for self-sovereign identity um, and pro provide the ability for um, receivers of data to pay issuers of that data, but also reward credential holders as well and the subjects. And the vision that we see here is that by introducing kind of economic incentives, will actually boot, like really accelerate the adoption of the technology. The analogy that we've been, or the parallel that we've used a couple of times is like comparing to the early days of the internet where there was some amazing technical kind of execution and engineering going on, but really the kind of um, the increase in the adoption was driven by the business side, taking a new technology and building out new kind of business models, new commercial structures um, and entirely new offerings off the back of it. And how we're doing that specifically is um, we've built our, uh, our kind of network on the Cosmos SDK. Um, we've built or we're building out those kind of decentralized ID capabilities, decentralized governance, which you have plenty of materials coming out on, um, but also a kind of dedicated token uh, across this to facilitate exchange. And the vision here is that the, the kind of the base layer allows um, transactional interactions across the world. So for example, if I gave Anchor his data, um, I ha feasibly have no idea where he's going to use it. And therefore, we need the ability to receive and issue payments from anywhere globally on a transactional basis. He could go from the UK back to Singapore, and we need to be able to maintain kind of payments between, between those organizations seamlessly.